Hey there, here are your top news stories from eWeek, sponsored by Dell and Intel. Today's topics include iFixit's report of a widespread glitch affecting Apple iPhone 6 and 6 Plus touchscreens, the rivalry between Intel and NVIDIA in the AI sector, a Microsoft Commission study that found that 60% of American teens have online accounts their parents do not know about, and the deal that will allow Lenovo to pre-install Microsoft apps on Android devices. Electronics repair website iFixit is reporting a widespread problem with Apple's iPhone 6 and particularly iPhone 6 Plus smartphones that repair advocates have dubbed touch disease. A gray bar appears across the top of the phone's displays and the screen's performances gradually decline before users lose touch functionality completely. What started as an unfortunate trend now seems to be growing into an epidemic, reports iFixit's Julia Bluff, who interviewed a handful of independent electronics repair experts and micro-soldering specialists. According to Bluff, while the issue appears to be touchscreen related, it actually comes down to two touchscreen controller chips, or touch ICs, on the logic board. The problem is apparently caused after the relatively thin handsets twist and when the users put them in their back pockets and then sit, lean, or bend over. Artificial intelligence and machine learning are opening up another front in the sprawling competition between Intel and NVIDIA that has stretched from the data center and high-performance computing environments to autonomous vehicles. Both chip makers see the nascent artificial intelligence space and the machine learning technology that helps enable it as key growth areas. Each sees the other as primary competitors. As Intel executives at the Intel Developer Forum last week unveiled a range of moves the company is making to address the needs in the emerging market, NVIDIA officials fired off a post on the vendor's blog questioning some of the benchmark numbers Intel was using comparing its many core Xeon Phi processors to NVIDIA's GPU. Microsoft Today released the findings of a new study conducted on behalf of the company by the National Cyber Security Alliance. After surveying 804 American teens aged 13 to 17 and 810 parents of teens of those ages, Microsoft and the NCSA found that when it comes to online safety, teens and their parents aren't quite on the same page. 60% of the teens admitted that they had created an online account their parents don't know about in order to use an app, social media site, or other online service. Only 13% said their parents were completely aware of their online activities. Parents, on the other hand, said they were neutral in terms of awareness about their kids' online activities. A mere 3% claimed they knew everything their children did online. Android keeps paying off for Microsoft, and now a patent licensing pact between the Redmond Washington software giant and Lenovo is another step in that direction. The deal, announced on August 23rd, includes a cross-licensing agreement covering Motorola devices as well as those carrying the Lenovo brand. In addition, Lenovo has agreed to ship Android mobile devices preloaded with Microsoft Office, OneDrive, and Skype. Lenovo acquired Motorola Mobility from Google in 2014 in a transaction valued at $2.91 billion. Christian Egan, head of corporate alliances at Lenovo, said in prepared remarks that the deal offers new opportunities for our customers to take advantage of some of Microsoft's most popular apps and offer additional value to the company's customers worldwide. Thanks for watching. Follow the links on this page to learn more about the stories mentioned in this broadcast. And check back every weekday for another daily tech briefing from eWeek.com.